Good morning. It's May 13th as I'm recording this. Um, I hope all of you had a wonderful Mother's Day. Um, my day was interesting. I'm knowing that, that a lot of things happened that I'm still trying to process. Um, but anyway, I think. Yeah. So, do you remember in the 90s, they had these cute little hair clips and like everybody had them and there was this like specific little hairstyle that everybody did. Of course, my sisters and I did. Um, I remember our pictures um, for school when I was a sophomore and she was a freshman. Um, we did our hair with these little clips. and. Um, they're very much back in style. So, I don't get the dogs barking. Ellie, Ellie, please don't get the dogs barking. Everybody but Ellie is sleeping right now. Mommy, this is typo. Yeah. Anyway, so. Okay, okay. Please don't get the dogs barking. So anyway, um, I haven't worn this hairstyle since I was like 16 or 17, but um, our school pictures that year, we wore the little mini hair clip. I need to put that up high closer, otherwise it's not going to stay because my hair is so short. My sister had really long hair and I had... My hair was a, no, that's still not, it still needs to be closer. Um, I had really short hair. I, I've always, well, not always, but for the most part, kept my hair fairly short. Um, it did grow it out fairly long after my first baby was born. And, uh, Maybe this isn't gonna work. And okay. And it was it was really long for a while. Um past my mid back probably for about I don't know eight years. I didn't like it being that long. I had it that long because Oh my gosh, this is not working. I think my hair is too short for this. Or these clips are too small. Maybe I need to use bigger ones. Um, there we go. Maybe that'll do it. Maybe, maybe not. Um, no, uh, 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 please do not turn on the TV while I'm recording. Thank you. Uh, I've done this in so long. Um, I didn't like having my hair long. I grew it out because my husband wanted me to have long hair. And he was really annoyed with me when I cut it. And I was like, dude, it's my hair. I'm like, sorry, but... I don't think that anybody should dictate to anybody else what their hair should look like. Just, you know. Is anybody knocking? Oh, you knocking on the other bathroom door? I guess the kids are all waking up. But okay, fine. We can have the TV on with the sound off. That's fine, I guess. This one is just not sitting right. Anyway, oh, well, in high school though, I was I was always I was too afraid to get in trouble. I was such a good girl. Oh my gosh. Um, it, even my high school friends 
like referred to me as a goody two shoes because I didn't do like I didn't go to parties, I didn't sneak out, I didn't do any of those things. The worst thing I ever did as a teenager was stand on my friend's roof when we were playing Truth or Dare one night. That just flew. Where did it go? Uh, oh, just found it. <laughs> that went. When we were kids, no, when we were teenagers, my sister would get up at like 4 a.m. to do her makeup, and she still wouldn't be done by 7. There you go. Um, I think if my hair were just a little bit longer, this would sit better, but that's kind of, kind of the basics. And I remember I would get up, and sometimes I did makeup and sometimes I didn't, but I would get up and be ready in like, I don't know, 10 minutes, and she'd, she'd take forever, and I always used to tease her about it. What am I looking for? Oh, there it is. And now we're adults, and I sit in there, I stand here doing my makeup every morning. She, she doesn't wear makeup anymore. She became allergic to it. <coughs> <coughs> She's allergic to like everything, unfortunately. She has mast cell activation syndrome. Um. In the 90s, I was the girl that thought it was funny to walk around carrying my giant stack of school books on my head. I, I wore like loud zebra print jackets and the big, the Jinko jeans. Do you remember the Jinko jeans? I had Jinko jeans. My mom called them um, family of five pants because she said you could fit a family of five in them. Oh, I didn't really, other than the Jinko jeans, I really didn't follow fashion trends. I just always kind of did what I wanted to do. One time I took a pair of jeans and, um, took a pair of jeans and cut the seams out of it. Not cut, I mean like, um, use a seam ripper to take the seams out. And then I put extra fabric in it to make it bell bottoms. And it looked really cool at first. But I wasn't super good at sewing. I wore it to school and the seams I had put in popped while I was in school. So my pants were like not really held together and I was just like holding the end of them like all day because I was like I don't know I don't know why I didn't just like tell the nurse or something and ask to call my mom to bring me more pants. Maybe I was embarrassed. I don't know. I'm going to try to do my makeup very similarly to how I did in the 90s. Uh, I mean, it's going to be a little bit different because as a teenager, I didn't know that you're supposed to bring your makeup up higher when you have um, hooded eyes. This is going to be a little bit different than what I did back then, but it's going to be similar. Hey buddy, what's up? I'm recording right now. Oh. If you need to talk, I'll be done in a few minutes. Let's see. I wore pink eyeshadow usually and um and silver lipstick. I don't have silver lipsticks so we're gonna use eyeshadow. Let's see. We gotta find a pink that matches. I have a lot of pinks. It was like, there was a specific pink that I wore. It was from CoverGirl and they don't make it anymore. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this palette. Yeah. It's called Flirty Talk from Color Pop. I'm 
have to send this look to my sister. She's going to... I wonder if I could find a picture from of me from that time, you know, like with this specific makeup. I could maybe have a picture. I just don't know where it is. I should probably turn the light on. The light from my mirror helps a lot. But like I was really into the the, the shimmery pink and the silver lipstick. I don't remember I had the silver lipstick came from Wet n Wild, and it was like it was like only a dollar or something for the tube of lipstick, and I would use up a tube of lipstick like every week because I would put it on so thick. I mean, you know how lipstick is, or like you can't. It doesn't really. Day, especially a cheap lipstick it doesn't have a lot of staying power so I'd be constantly like having to reapply it there we go now I didn't know how to do wings back in high school but I'm definitely going to do wings. <coughs> <coughs> My allergies are acting up. Lately, I really kind of like drawing in my corners. I feel like it makes my eyes look a little bit bigger. Now, the white eyeliner was definitely something I did back then, but I used, uh, I didn't have a wood liner. I had a uh, pencil liner, and you know how, how you'd have to, like, um, basically, like, use a lighter or something to heat it up to get it to work? And the brand I used was, uh, I think it was the NYC brand. And it was, like, at the time, the only brand that you could find white eyeliner from. that's cute um <clears throat> let's see eyebrows i definitely didn't do my eyebrows when i was in high school thin eyebrows was what was in and i never plucked my eyebrows either i just like i tried it like once and i didn't like it so i never did it again And I'm really glad that I didn't pluck my eyebrows because a lot of women my age now have their eyebrows tattooed on because they over plucked them and it didn't grow back. <sighs> also, when I was a teenager, I had the hardest time getting my bangs to stay put because they always wanted to like pop up weird. And I remember like I would hurt. I would curl my bangs and my sister curled her bangs too and she always did it in a way where it was like flat and then a curl but the stupid thing is, is I had naturally wavy hair and I didn't really know how to take care of that so I was always just like I would straighten it and then try to curl it and that it wouldn't hold the curl What am I doing? I need my blush. <sighs> Stuff falling out.
Let's see. I feel like I almost look 15 again. Almost, not quite. Um. When I was 15, I definitely didn't have the confidence that I have now. I'll tell you that. Uh, I wasn't really shy, but I was just kind of like, I've always been kind of eccentric, and I get picked on a lot. I had an art teacher that I really loved. She was always encouraging me. Um, I spent a lot of time, like, all my free time at school, I would go and do art in the art room, or I would write, I used to write like romance stories. <clears throat> hmm, let's see how to do this. Okay. Okay, I gotta use my finger for this because it's too, it's too loose. Oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> I'm doing my makeup how I used to do it in the 90s. I can tell you look like a weirdo. <laughs> rude? Not that rude, it's just the truth. Rude! But you're my favorite weirdo. Aw, thank you. Let's see. Some pink highlights. I definitely didn't do highlights and glitter. Well, I did do glitter, but not, um, not highlights because I didn't know anything about contouring or anything like that. Oh, why did I put that on my chin? That doesn't go there. Um, and uh, the, the foundation, I didn't wear foundation very much when I was a teenager because the only foundation I could afford was from Wet n Wild and it was like so orange. And um, unfortunately, like my sister used to get picked on for the orange foundation and she'd get really mad. And I just, I just never wore it because it made my face look so orange. I was like, I don't know, my sister and I are still really close. I just, we don't live close by each other, I wish we did. I wish I could go and like spend the summer with her or something. I spent a week at her house last year, but this year I just can't because of like everything that's, everything with Tilk and <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. And, um, you know, with my husband's back surgery coming up, so I can't, can't go hang out at my sister's. I wish I could. Sister and I are two years apart, and then my brother is four years younger than me, and then my other sister and brother, they're not twins, my mom and dad split up, and then they both had they both remarried and had another child about the same time so they're both eight years younger than me Oh my goodness. There you have it. This is how I did my makeup in the 90s and my hair. <laughs> Very 90s. <laughs> oh my goodness.